Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a touch and drag movement of your sprite or any node on the screen. Now, when we are done, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so let's see how to do it now. So let's set up a 2D scene over here. And let's just name it player. And then uh, let's add a sprite. And we also need a touch button over here, a touch screen button. You can just search over here, touch screen button. We need a texture for the sprite. Uh, I'm just going to drag the Godot icon over here. And to see if our object is actually moving, I'll just attach a random sprite over here. Yeah. Now we also need a shape for the touch screen button. You can select the shape over here. I'll just select a circle. And then you resize that to match your this is basically your touch area where you'll be detecting the touches from the user. I'll set this here. I've uh let's set this sprite. Set. I've added this as a child of the node that we are going to be moving so that it moves along with the sprite. So let's save our scene now. Okay. Now we'll add a script to our sprite node. Go to attach script over here and let's just name it drag move. Right. And um, I'll just erase all of this. Uh, now let's set up our variables first. Now we need a delta x variable. I'll explain you all of the variables when while we are doing the code. Delta x that we need a delta y and then we need a touch position, set it as vector 2, and then we need an, a boolean of area entered. Okay. We'll set it as all, we'll set it to false by default. Now, now we need to connect some signals from the touch screen button. Okay, let's connect the signals pressed to the sprite in which our script is attached. Okay, now we also need to select uh, connect the released one. Now, when the user presses on the touch screen, the area entered variable is going to be true. And when the user releases the finger, then, then the area entered will become false again. All right. Now we'll be using the function input event for this so that we get inputs per frame. Now, if the area entered is true, then, and if um, event is, if the event, in, if the type of input is input event, event screen, when the user touches the screen and event is pressed, touches it and then presses it, keeps it pressed. All right. 
now we need to get the touch position coordinates the touch position variable that we set here earlier we need to get the coordinates of the first touch position where the user is touching event dot get all right now remember the delta x and delta y variables out here these are actually calculate to set the difference difference between the touch position of x minus the position of the sprite position the x coordinate position of the sprite yes sir this is for delta x and we'll do the same for delta y with touch position y minus position position dot y now we have done our part for the touch first touch and press all right now when the user drags the sprite across the screen I will be using an elif statement for that event is input event screen drag we need to get the new touch position again event dot get Now we need to set a uh, new delta x and new delta y variables. I'll tell you why. Uh, variable delta. Okay, that's in here. Delta x. And another one. New delta y. This is to calculate the difference between the touch position that we got just now touch position dot x minus and the delta x and delta y variables that we set here the values of the touch position x minus position dot x delta x all right new delta y Y minus delta y. Yeah. We're almost done with our script here. Now we need to set the position of the sprite or the node, anything that you have set the script to. Yeah. Position uh, vector two. And we'll set the coordinates as new delta x and new delta y. That's it for our script. So I'll, let's just do a recap over here. We've set our variables over here, delta x, delta y, and then a touch position that is a vector 2. And then the area entered, which is just a boolean. And when the touch button is pressed, or the area of the touch button is pressed, then the area entered will become true and then when this is true this input dot event will be running and if this is true over here and if the input is a touch and if that event is pressed if the user is pressing that event and then out we get our touch position and then we get the difference of the touch position and the position of the sprite we set it as delta x and delta y and then if the user drags the sprite across the screen then this statement will run over here 
we'll get the touch position again. This is the new touch position basically. Now we'll, we have new delta x and new delta y coordinates to keep the difference between the touch position, new touch position x over here or the new touch position coordinates and the delta x and delta y coordinates that we got earlier. And then uh, we will set the position of our sprite to these values of new delta x and new delta y. That's it. Save the script and then let's go back to our scene. Now we will run this. Okay. So we need to select our main scene over here. Pick a main scene. You see if we drag our mouse over it, if we click over it, nothing will happen. Now this is because we need to enable emulate touch from mouse. You do that by going to project and then project settings and then you go to input devices and then pointing emulate touch from mouse. You enable that and then you press the close button. Do not press the this cross button. If you press this cross button then it will not your changes will not be saved. So you need to press this close button. Now, let's see. You see our code is working and our sprite is moving across the screen. That's it. Now, you see there's a problem here. Our when we drag this across the screen, our sprite is going outside the viewport. It's going outside the screen. Now we don't want that, right? Now to do that, I'll be showing you how to clamp the sprite within the viewport in my next tutorial. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and stay tuned for my next tutorial.